Portiflow is an imaging technique that lets us see blood flow uh, and the function of the heart all in one uh, exam. We're able to do quantitative measurements of the heart size, its function, both the left and the right side, and uh, blood flow inside and outside of the heart. All the other techniques are partial views or little windows into what's there, but they don't give a full picture. The quantitation of flow is fundamental to the assessment of a number of, of cardiac disorders. Uh, one of the most prominent is valvular heart disease. Uh, in, in judging the severity of, of valvular heart disease, you can't rely on the images because some normal images are associated with severe flow and, and some quite abnormal mitral valve images associated with almost no regurgitant flow. And what 4D flow gives us is the physiological uh, consequence of the anatomic defect that we're seeing. Using a standard MRI machine, physicians can capture information about blood flow and anatomy to arrive at more conclusive decisions. The accuracy of the flow measurements have been validated in uh, quite a few peer-reviewed medical journals. The biggest advantage of 4D flow is we can get a comprehensive evaluation of the heart in 10 minutes. To train a tech to do cardiac MRI the old-fashioned way to get all the imaging planes right, uh, it takes about a year and a half or so to get them to identify every plane correctly and plan them out. It doesn't take any special training to do a uh, 4D flow exam. Uh, any MRI tech can run it. The major advantage of 4D flow is, is the fourth dimension. It's the ability to uh, visualize the entire flow disturbance so that you can quantify it precisely to make a decision about a therapeutic uh, strategy. 40 Flow is uh, a complete paradigm shift. Um, it's where, where we want to be with cardiac MRI. We want to be able to prescribe a whole volume in the same way that we do a brain or, or a knee. I think the biggest applications for uh, 40 Flow right now um, are congenital heart disease, valve disease, and aortic disease in general, uh, including aortic dissection. This is really an exciting technology and one that can really help us diagnose and manage heart disease.